Nothing matters more than our kids. If we want them to succeed in school and in life, we have to ensure that they grow up healthy, physically and mentally. Today, we're facing an unprecedented mental health crisis. All of us know someone whose child has serious behavior challenges, is coping with depression or anxiety, or maybe even has attempted suicide. In the wake of COVID-19, our kids, including our youngest, are struggling like never before. We must move from crisis to prevention. Instead of waiting for the candidates to set their own agendas, we wanted to get out front and together try to help shape those agendas. Really the reason why we built the Vote for Howard Kids Coalition is to make sure that that voice continues to be heard. I think parents that thought their kids were doing well in school and have been sitting with them for the last two years trying to educate them at the kitchen table realize that perhaps their kids are struggling. There was a mental health crisis for kids pre-COVID, pre-pandemic. The need has skyrocketed. So we did a poll in Ohio, seven in 10 of parents with young children under the age of five identified that they were deeply concerned about the mental health of their infants, toddlers, and preschoolers. Even if young children don't completely understand what is happening because of the pandemic, they certainly can sense if their, if their caregivers or their parents or their families are more stressed. So when you think about mental health of babies, what we're really saying here is, are there the trusting relationships being established between parent and child? There was a survey done in Clark County in 2021, and of the kids that completed the survey, 17% of the high school kids said they had made a plan to kill themselves. Social media is not a friendly thing for kids. Oftentimes, these kids are tethered to their social media platforms and their mobile devices. You know, we're just facing all kinds of challenges that in my 15 years of doing this, I never thought we'd face. If we don't invest in mental health services, we are gonna lose a generation. We're gonna lose their personalities, their true authentic selves. Why is there this dramatic increase in behavioral health needs for youth? Kids are bullied on social media in ways that adults like us never had to experience because that didn't exist. The other piece is that social media in some ways normalizes really poor coping skills like cutting. Our response to the opiate epidemic was slow. And the problem with it being slow, a lot of people died in the process while we were correcting our system. Here we have an opportunity. If we can't figure out how to prevent many of these conditions from happening at a, at a younger age or at their first onset, we're gonna to continue to face these kids who are now in crisis. A lot of people are gonna to have to get their arms around this and point in the same direction. It is going to take urgency and resources and a commitment and a focus. The difficult part is we didn't get here overnight, so the solutions to address these challenges are gonna take time and they're gonna take sustained investments. What I am very hopeful about is after many, many years of stigma around mental and behavioral health needs, people are talking about it openly. Public-private partnerships are critical in addressing some of these issues, and if we don't invest in them and in their families now, we are not going to be competitive as a state going forward. I am extremely worried that kids are not on the political agenda. We know that our children, their future is tied to the economy the future growth and our future workforce. What we hope will come out of this event is that both gubernatorial candidates will have a deep understanding of what it is we need to do to help the children of our state thrive and that they will be ready on day one to implement that agenda. Ohio families and their kids deserve bold leadership from all of us. Every corner of the state is impacted by the mental health crisis and it's not going away on its own. We have to act for the benefit of kids and families and for Ohio.